Hey guys, so another new project here for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make your very own carboy hauler. So I've got a lot of carboys here you can see and I've been getting tired of putting their little birthday suits on every time I go to use them. So I'm going to make a bunch and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so you're going to need three different materials to make this happen. The first is going to be some one inch polypropylene webbing. Uh, this is fairly easy to obtain. I prefer polypropylene. You can also use nylon webbing as well. Uh, nylon webbing will stretch if it gets wet and because this is a brewery application and it might have beer or water on it, I prefer to go the polypropylene. The other thing you need is a side release blast, black clasp. Uh, I guess it doesn't have to be black, but anyway, black clasp uh, that will be your connection and then you need some good quality polyester thread. Uh, this is Gutterman Terra 80, I believe. Yes. Uh, and uh, I do recommend this this stuff. Uh, any thread would technically work, but uh, a good quality thread is definitely worth its weight. So those are the three things you're going to need. So let's continue. All right. So you're going to need to first cut your pieces of webbing. You're going to need one piece at 44 inches, three pieces at 36 inches, and then two pieces at around 19 inches. I personally prefer my six and a half gallon carboys to have uh, 20 inch handles. It gives you a little bit more room, but basically you're gonna cut this up into those sizes. Okay, so once you've cut your webbing to length, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear the edges so that they don't unravel. So you're gonna take a lighter and just gently run along both edges and do this on all the pieces that you've cut. Okay, so once you've seared the edges, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our black clasp here and we're gonna separate the two and you have two ends. One is the adjustable end and one has no adjustments. So what we're gonna do is take one end of the 44 inch piece of the single 44 inch piece of fabric and we're gonna wrap it around the non-adjustable end and we're gonna prepare to sew that with a zigzag stitch. So I'll show you that. Okay, so once you've wrap that loop around. You're going to go ahead and bring it to the sewing machine. You're going to set it to a zigzag stitch. I use about a two millimeter stitch length and a two millimeter width for my zigzag stitch. And what you're going to do is basically run it down and you're going to do a quick back stitch and then run it up and down the length. And I like to do this several times. I'm making this myself so I want to make it really high quality so I go back and forth on it several times and then when you're finished just do a quick back stitch. Okay so now that we've sewed that on there, it's on there nice and good, what we're going to do is we're going to take our 36 inch pieces and we're basically going to wrap it around that 44 inch piece with the black clasp on it and I like to get about a, about a half inch or so of overlap there so we just made a loop and wrapped it around that and then again we're going to stitch along there and create another connection. Okay, so again, this is what we've created now. You've got your black clasp and now you've got a movable piece on there. We're gonna repeat that three times for the 36 inch pieces. So all three 36 inch pieces will be strapped just like that and then another one will go right next to it and sew each one. Okay, so once you've finished that task, what you should have is your little black clasp and now the three 36 inch pieces are all sewed on to that one piece, right? Okay, so that's what you do. Now go ahead and take your other end of the black clasp and go ahead and fasten that together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and now we know that's the way we want it. So we're gonna come like that and around. Then that should fit in there like that and it holds. So now you have essentially a loop that is going to go around the carboy with three pieces hanging off, dangling all the way to the end. Okay, so again with our three pieces, the next step is going to be to take this center strap and what you want to do is you want to basically loop it around and sew it on the opposite side of the looped piece. So essentially we take this end, this is the 36 inch piece that I'm grabbing here, this is the loop that we created that has the black clasp on it, and we're going to basically bring it around, loop it around on the opposite side, and again, we're going to make a sew. We're going to sew that together, 
and essentially we'll now have the bottom piece which is the beginning of what's going to start holding the carboy. Okay, so now we have the looped piece with the black clasp and we have a piece that goes from end to end and is looped, right? Gotcha? So now what we're going to do is take our other two 36 inch pieces and we're going to sew the other end in a loop around the opposite side of the strap. So if it's on the right side, so that's the center strap that you're looking at here. It's the right side that we're grabbing. We're going to cross over that center strap here. That's the center strap on the back end. So this is going to go to the left of that center strap on the opposite side. So essentially it will create a cross down beneath. Then the other one you're going to strap onto the other side. So the left side on the front will go to the right side on the back. And again, that's what's going to kind of give you that mesh that's going to hold the carboy uh, in the end. So go ahead and complete those steps. Again, we're just using the same straight zigzag stitch that, that we've done, it, that I've shown you previously. So you should be okay there. Okay, so now we have two straps. So there's our, our loop that's going to go around the carboy. We have two straps that are strapped together and are reversed. So now we're going to do that again for the second side. So this is our center strap on the far side. This is our loop strap. We're going to come around and basically we're going to again go to the right side, the opposite side of the center strap so that again it creates that mesh. So now that you've got these sewed together on both sides, it should actually start to look like a carboy hauler. So we have our loop that goes around the carboy here and then we have the hanging down straps that are the supports for the rest of the carboy. So the one thing we need to do is put a stitch down in the center of this. So to find the center, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the three straps on each side here, kind of together, okay? Then we match them up and kind of bring them together so you have all six sitting together, right? Just like that. So all six on each side, there's the, the thing. Uh, so now we're going to hold this and we're going to kind of come down here and that's going to be your center point. So what I kind of do is kind of massage these a little bit here to try to get them in. And what you want to make sure of is that you're not like tangling these things, that they're all straight down, right? So we find the center and then we kind of just massage it together until you know that that's your center point. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a small stitch right in that center point. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, so we found our center point and we've got all three of these pieces now lined up. What I kind of want to do is put the needle right about in the center there. And what we're going to do is about a, uh, we're going to do about a quarter inch straight stitch right in the middle of there. You don't want to sew all the way across because these need to be a little bit flexible because remember, they're going to go up on all sides of the carboy. They're not going to stay together. So you want just a very small stitch and I go over it about uh, four or five times to make sure it's nice and sturdy in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we bring it forward a little bit and then backwards a little bit, forward a little bit, backwards a little bit, forward a little bit. Oops, so I went back a little too far there, that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. So again, just go back and forth a few times, cut your thread, and you're good to go. Okay, so now you've put a nice thread uh, down in the middle and these are all now attached to each other and they can kind of move away separately. So now you have the core of the carboy hauler complete, right? So you have the loop. Now all we need to do is do the handles. So what we're going to do, just like what we've been doing, so that's the bottom of uh, where the carboy is going to go. In the center handle for each one, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of wrap around in the opposite direction. Again, just kind of a loop there. And then we're going to do that on each side right so that when they come together and they're sewed they're going to act like a handle so that we're just going to sew those two connections right there and then we're literally done okay so just so you don't think i'm cheating you here i'm going to just go ahead and sew this handle again uh just drop it down in the center here then uh go forward quick back stitch forward backwards forwards backwards. Again, we're just making this nice and strong because this is going to be a primary stress point for uh, your big heavy carboys. So we do that and then we 
get our orientation again. There's our center strap. I'm just doing this off camera here so you can kind of see, but we're going to go ahead and loop it around again. Bring it back in on the other side of the strap and come down, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. You can do this as many times as you like. It doesn't really take much. This stuff is pretty strong. So anyway, that's literally it. All right, so we finished the one of the handles. Now we're going to go to the other side, and again on the center strap, we're going to take, sorry, I've got it down there. We're going to take the center strap, and we're going to again make another handle on the opposite side. So that's all we're going to do again, just looping it and sew with the zigzag stitch. Same stuff we've done. All right, so we've pretty much completed our carboy hauler now. Um, you'll want to trim up, you know, some of your threads here that are, you know, out in the way, just kind of get them, you know, trimmed up a little bit and make them nice. Um, so do that for all the connections that you made. You can also do this as you go along if you don't like dealing with the various threads hanging out and all that kind of stuff. Um, and really, at this point, you're ready to put it on the carboy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that's done. Okay, so now we have our carboy hauler complete. And we just want to kind of get our orientation. We've got our straps up here. We've got our clasp right here. So we're going to bring it around and kind of hug the carboy then we made this adjustable so we kind of pull the the strap back a little bit get it set on there as much as possible then we just lift up our carboy here and kind of bring our straps around and we do it over there too until they're all centered and then you kind of just spread them out a wee bit so that they're all kind of even and grabbing the carboy at the appropriate angle. Make sure all your straps are straight. And obviously I'm not doing a very good job at that. Get it on. And now you have a permanent carboy holder that is just as good as the ones that you can buy. And it looks almost identical, really, when it comes right down to it. It's the same materials, same process, I'm sure, that they use, you know, in China or wherever they make those. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, I've used these on full six and a half gallon carboys, and they work great. So, um, looks like i got a couple things that i got to fix here, but uh, no big deal. Um, then if you want, when you're done, you can kind of tighten that up a little bit. So, that's really it. Make them up, make them. They're about uh, $4 a piece uh, when you make them yourself with all the webbing and everything. Uh, so they're super cheap and uh, they work just as well. So anyway, have a good one. Hope you enjoyed.